good morning everybody and but first coffee And welcome back to the vlog. So if you're new here, my name is Julianne and I make sustainability and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in any of that, then please subscribe below. So this coffee is also a bit of a taste test. Um, I recently got decaf coffee just to like, just to see how it would be like, you know, how it would kind of affect my mood and anxieties and everything <laughs> during this time because in Germany the lockdown has been extended until the middle of February so we are managing our stress drinking decaf honestly taste wise it's not that bad I think next time I tried to make it a little bit stronger but I think the one thing that I was struggling with getting a decaf is finding one that's like fair trade and organic. My usual coffee before was fair trade organic and I think it might have also been like B Corporation certified but I'm not certain on that. But like finding a decaf coffee like that was actually really difficult and I couldn't find one. So this is just a very normal cheap. <laughs> coffee but it's not bad still has those coffee flavors which I've grown to love so much and other good news is that it's snowing outside which you know may not be good news for everybody but I love the snow so I'm so excited that it's snowing you know the snow here has been more consistent than the snow that I've seen um, at my hometown in Canada <laughs> in Canada like especially where I live we have such strong winds that it just like melts the snow the wind melts the snow and it's like strong wind <laughs> it's nice to have it like this where it actually like stays on the ground for a few weeks that's not what I'm used to the only thing is that it's making me so sad and like really missing out on skiing. I was snowboarding so much in Canada, especially like all through my childhood and my teenage years. Like my family, we would go snowboarding like every weekend and it was so much fun and oh, I just love it so much. And it just uh, pains me that now I can look at all this beautiful, nice snow and I can't go snowboarding. Nothing you can do there. I know in Canada most of the ski hills are open and it's just like the lodges are closed but in Germany they're like all closed so that's too bad but we are making plans that next year next year we're gonna do some skiing and so I'm really excited about that and also some updates for our apartment is that if you can see behind me we got these like two little chairs which were um we got them off ebay and they were free and they're like antique they're so nice they're really beautiful um other than that we ordered some bed sheets from this one sustainable company and i think they're gonna come 
in the next few days either today or tomorrow that's what i'm hoping because i got a notice that they're in germany now they're from a company called editude and they're based out of australia so it took quite a bit of time for them to ship but i would be happier if it takes more time and they're not just like rush shipping it here because that would be ridiculous so you know hopefully today or tomorrow we'll do like a little unboxing and I'll tell you guys what I think of these sheets. <laughs> All right, so it's a bit later now in the morning. I'm wanting something for breakfast. Um, you know what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a smoothie, um, but I want something that's like chocolatey and peanut buttery, but still healthy. So probably gonna make it with some frozen bananas, spinach, dates, peanut butter um and just cocoa powder oh and i like putting oats in it and some chia seeds and other goodies so let's do that Cheers to the breakfast of champions. Mm -mm -mm. So good. All right, so I just spent probably the last two hours binge watching Eamon and Beck. They're like these Canadian YouTubers and their content is so cool. They like live in a van and now they're like renovating an old cabin in the woods in Canada and so nice. But now I need to actually do real stuff. So I gotta throw together a little grocery list and we gotta drop something off at the post. You know, time to start our day. It's like noon. So we're back from the store. We just topped up on some produce and also some oat milk for me. Um, yeah, it's snowing like crazy outside. I love it so much. Like big, big snowflakes. It's great. Also, I will say that there was an unplanned purchase at Aldi. We are now the proud owners of this little lavender plant, which I'm really excited about it smells really good I don't know like how difficult it is to take care of it but it was like a euro 50 so we just thought Meh, we'll try it out um, yeah my mother-in-law has quite a few like big lavender bushes in her garden and they are so nice and like have flowers and like bumblebees all summer long so hopefully we can get the same result this year I mean, it's it's not even February yet, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's make some lunch now. I am starving. Okay, so I have an idea. We are going to make pasta with corn and some fennel and zucchini, um, a little bit of garlic, and then some miso. That's going to be really good. So let's get into it.
All right, so um, lunch ended up being really good. Now I'm just having a little chai latte and I'm not really doing so much else today. Our package didn't arrive. I'm hoping it'll come tomorrow, um, but yeah, see you tomorrow. Welcome back to the next day. And I got my package. This morning I made another cup of coffee with my decaf coffee. I made it a little bit stronger this morning and I think it tastes more like my usual coffee. So that's nice. But first of all, it's a little bit disappointing that they have to wrap it in like plastic. It does say that it's 100% recyclable, but still, it's like not the best. I don't have a knife. <laughs> Other thing to note is that I did get special permission from my husband to open this on camera and he's gonna look at it later. <laughs> nice. Feels really soft. Ooh. Oh, the other thing that I got, it was on sale. <laughs> I got an eye mask. Okay, so this brand, Etitude, on the tags, it says, Etitude, noun, eco attitude, mindful living to sustain a more comfortable existence for all. And I got the clean bamboo sheet set. And about the company, it says that it is a Forest Stewardship Council member. It has an Ecotech Standard 100, um, PETA approved vegan, and it's a 1% for the planet, which is actually really cool. I really like the idea of businesses joining 1% for the planet. <laughs> I don't really know, like, how to show you guys anymore other than like you can see kind of with the light now even just like how smooth it looks this is just the cover and that's nice because now we got a cute little bag <laughs> it feels so soft okay so packaging like this brand is from Australia so I do understand that maybe you know they have to use this but in Germany like that goes like directly into like our recycling so we don't have to take it to any like special recycling place to get it done um so that's great i mean if you're living in germany we have like a really intense recycling system Okay, so Come overall, I mean, like, I haven't tried it or anything yet, but it feels really nice, and I'm really excited to start using it, um, especially for, like, the health of my hair and my skin. They say that if you have a more, like, silky sheet, then it's better for your hair and your skin, like, if you have dry skin or something, that's supposed to be really good for it. So every time you buy sheets, the company always has like those little cardboard pieces just to like help them keep their shape. And for this company, they actually print all of the information on those sheets. So double-sided sheet with all the information on it, which I mean, I guess if you like have to have the cardboard in the packaging anyways, then you may as well like get some use out of it. So I think that's really cool. And also it says on here that it's made from 100% recycled paper and it asks you to recycle it once again. So this company uses clean bamboo to make all their products and it says clean bamboo is our signature fabric made from 100% organic bamboo, the most resource efficient plant on the planet. This material is cloud soft cooling and sustainable. So I mean that ticks off all the boxes and I know from like personal experience like I've seen bamboo growing and like holy moly it grows so fast like it can grow like a few feet overnight 
it's crazy and doesn't require that much resources so i think it is a good step to go more into like bamboo infused things even compared to conventional cotton even compared to organic cotton bamboo is just like a really great choice so that sums up everything for this video i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and we'll see you next time bye would you stay with me? It's coming through ya Never knew ya Never knew how much it means When you spoke to me